I'd like to switch that to what are the benefits and challenges in, in early detection and diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. So I think detection comes first, followed by diagnosis. So, so the benefits, I think, are huge. At the moment, um, we can only diagnose dementia when we start to see cognitive impairment and so loss of memory, loss of learning, loss of, of thought perception. But at that stage, lots of the neurons in the brain have already died. And so any therapeutic treatment that comes along, we're almost treating too late. And, and I can't say that absolutely across the board, but we're probably treating too late. So if we are able to detect early, we can do a lot of different things. So number one is that we can test those drugs that have failed to show benefit in late stage disease. And there's a potential, because we've moved so much earlier in the disease process, that those drugs may show significant benefit. That's number one. Um, there are lifestyle choices that, that people can make to lead a healthier lifestyle, um, to lead a healthier lifestyle, and they should reduce dementia risk and also delay the onset of dementia. And that's not just about um, dementia itself. If you lead a healthy lifestyle, then you'll reduce your risk of diabetes, you'll reduce your risk of obesity, and you'll reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease, and all of those are risk factors for dementia. So leading a healthier lifestyle, I think, is good across the board, but actually, if you detect diseases early, then you can do something about it. If you detect diseases late, it's probably too late to do very much about it. Um, we also don't know very much about the early stages of disease, so if we're able to de detect diseases early, then we'll understand much more about the biology of the early disease process. And if we're able to understand that better, then we may be able to identify um, much more effective drug targets, so we should be able to bring much better um, drug treatments along based on identifying new drug targets. And then potentially, if we can detect diseases early with tools, we can use those tools to facilitate clinical trials. So we can stratify patients to enter clinical trials at the right stage of disease for treatment, and then potentially we could use those same tools uh, as, to understand drug efficacy, so to show at a very early stage that the drug is actually doing something, and that's something that's really, really important if our duration of clin clinical trials are going to extend much longer. The downsides or the challenges are you, you are detecting people or you are detecting diseases very early and some of those people may never go on to get dementia anyway. Um, but Alzheimer's Research UK have done a number of surveys and, and one, one of the most recent surveys suggested that 75% of people want to have diseases detected early. They want to know if they have one of the neurodegenerative diseases, even if there aren't therapeutic treatments. So I think people want to be much more informed and they want to be able to make lifestyle choices and they want to be able to do something about it. So even if there aren't therapeutic treatments, I think people want to know. Um, I guess the other thing is if you're, if you're um, detecting diseases early, you're detecting at an asymptomatic stage. So we have no idea who to test and what to look for. Um, and I know there are issues with um, the thought of screening and potentially it's not screening, but if we could um, roll out some of these technologies, and they're not the big clinical technologies that are expensive and invasive, they will be different technologies that will, will um, that we will develop these tools from. If we could roll those out, say, on an annual um, health check basis, and um, potentially not a population-wide basis, but an annual health check basis, then we can triage those people into more detailed clinical diagnosis. Um, and eventually, and not now, we should be able to use those tools to model whether people who have got disease are going on to get dementia. Dementia is the issue. I know it's caused by the disease, but living with the disease is not necessarily a problem. Living with dementia is a problem. So if we're able to detect early, and if we're able to understand that data across a period of time, then we may be, we may be able to calculate and predict which of the people who have the disease will and won't get dementia and probably do something about it. But it's a big mindset change, and it's not only a mindset change for people, it's a big mindset change for clinicians and neurologists and GPs, and, but we must move. You know, If you think about our NHS, it's all mostly acute care. We've got to move to prevention soon, otherwise we will not be able to afford it. I mean, we can hardly afford it now. So we, we do have to move to prevention, and if we detect early for the diseases that cause dementia, we should be able to do that.